Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. If you would have told me when I woke up this morning that I would be shooting at a perfectly good K-pot, I'd have said you're crazy. But Wholesale Larry said, uh, why don't you shoot it one and see what it does. So I've picked one of my uh, oldest ones. It is the older K-pot. I'm not going to shoot at a Mitch, so don't even ask. Um, but let's shoot at this one and see what it does. I'm taking some precautions. Um, Kevlar, plates, vests, safety glasses, doing everything I can do to be safe. Because, you know, normally you don't get this close and shoot at it. But I want to make sure I hit it. I want to make sure I have no uh, ricochets. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing. I'm going to shoot it with 38, 9 mil, and then an M1 carbine. That was a 38. Let's see what it does. I shot right for here, and it did strike it. Uh, no bubbling inside. It was a glancing blow, uh, but pretty direct. Um, took a little bit of the Kevlar out. That would have definitely, you would have survived that for sure. Let's go ahead and shoot it with a nine. Be a Glock, uh, standard FMJ. I'm not gonna shoot it totally direct, because I'm too close. Uh, but I'm going to glance it off the side and let's see what happens. That was a pretty direct shot. I mean, it's as direct as I could get. I uh, wasn't going to, but to really test it, uh, that's the center right there. There's the, uh, it's lined up perfectly. If you look in here, there is a bubble. There is no penetration. I'm going to cut the webbing out. There is no penetrations at all. It, it's definitely got a bubble though. It took a nine millimeter. It's definitely in there somewhere. But it is bubbled. It, it would not feel good, uh, but you would not have a penetration. Um, the other helmets would probably work better because of the standoff. There's more of a standoff with the heavy pads, but there it is. That is awesome. A direct, good, you're going to have a big headache though. That glancing one, not a problem at all. Let's shoot at it some more. I'm reversing it this time so we can really see what's happening. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and shoot it with the M1 carving, uh, full metal jacket. This is actually the first time I fired this weapon. This is a the weapon that's been a safe queen that needs to be tested out. That probably penetrated it because it's not rated for this. But let's see what it does. Oh yeah. We have penetration with uh, 30 carbine. There's where it went in. That's pretty much a direct shot. That is definitely not a glancing blow. <laughs> so all the energy went into this helmet. I do not see any damage to the other side of the helmet. So I don't know if it actually penetrated or just blew out some of this material. It still, you probably would not survive that. I'm trying to see what's going on in here. What it did was it blew out some of the material. Um, probably wouldn't survive that, but you're talking a direct. Let's shoot at some angled shots and see what happens. Let's go back to the 9mm because that's what it's really rated for. Um, it's not rated for the M1 carving. So let's, let's try some full, full metal jacket see what happens. Alright, that was a pretty good shot with the full metal jacket. That's it right there. Now it's very close to where the other damage was. So it's going to be really hard to tell. Um, it did not penetrate, but it definitely bubbled up. And it was already bubbled up bad already. 
but there's no penetration there. Let's find a spot that hasn't been hit so we can test that. Uh, this side right here has not been hit. All right, nine millimeter. Let's try to glance it. Oh, very nice on the glancing. This is taking a taking an abuse. It bubbled up inside. I would not want my head in there. Oh man, we're running out of room. Let's try a few more rounds. Let's go to 38. Let's see what that does. Uh, this is a uh, I think 158 grain hollow point. A nasty defensive round. handles a 38 on any type of glancing right there uh, really no bubbling at all inside because it was a glancing shot do they work they're rated for pistols um, they offer some protection they offer a lot of protection against shrapnel would I trust my life to it? Better than nothing. Um, the Mitch, which I'm wearing right now, is definitely a better helmet, and it's definitely got more ballistic protection than the old K-Pot. Hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions, holler at me. Thanks for watching.